Okay, so for this exercise, what we're going to do is some real straight ahead concepts uh, and brainstorming to see what sort of character we can come up for the rest of these exercises here. Um, so there's a couple sort of guidelines, I guess, to, to keep in mind when you're doing this kind of stuff. And the first is that you don't want to get too crazy with the ideas. You just want to keep them real straightforward for now. We'll flesh them out later in, uh, in later exercises. So for now, you just want to keep things real simple and not spend a whole lot of time. Um, you can just play around with different proportions and uh, in general, just try experimenting and see what you come up with. So I'm going to do some quick little sketches, just playing around with different sizes and shapes and seeing uh, if there's anything that I prefer personally. Uh, you have to keep in mind that you're going to be drawing this character hundreds and hundreds of times potentially, so it better be something that you're you're really happy with. When you're drawing, uh, one of the things that you should be considering is the silhouette of the character. Um, you're not drawing any crazy poses right now, you're just sort of feeling out what kind of character you want to you have. So the silhouette is just the outline and all I'm doing is playing around with a couple different shapes and sizes here. When you're drawing these simple shapes, uh, it's important to keep everything exposed. You don't want to have, like if I was to draw this character again, he's got a big huge torso and sort of little tapered legs and everything, but I've got his arms sticking out on purpose and that's just to get a sense of what he's going to look like. It would be hard to tell if you're doing quick gestural sketches like this and you have his arm folded in, like maybe he's holding his tummy or something like that. It would be a, a poor example of a silhouette because when you're looking at just the outline, what you end up with is the head and then you might see a little bit of the elbow and then the legs. Something like that. So it gets a little bit confusing if you don't see any form on the inside. Whereas where you've got this guy, you clearly have some hands, you've got his feet, and then his arm is sticking out. So it's more defined as a, a human type shape instead of maybe like a two-legged elephant or something in this case. So I'm thinking of doing something uh, a little smaller scale and this guy looks like a lot larger as you can see he's got a pretty small head in relation to the rest of his body and these guys are sort of more little elf or gnome size kind of like the big floppy ears. Play around this different head shapes. I'm not too sure if I like really long legs for a short character. It's a little bit unnatural, but you never know. Maybe something can work. You can also play around a little bit with, uh, with the pose. Maybe he's a real confident guy. Kind of a big olive head. So this is just the very, very initial stages. You don't want to spend a whole lot of time on, on any of these sketches. You just want to keep going from one to the next. You might like one, spend a little bit of time and see where it goes with your sketches. But you don't want to be dwelling too long on it. There'll be one that really appeals to you and if that one pops out, then go for it. Keep on developing it and see what you can come up with. Um, what we're going to do in the later stages is break stuff down into uh, separate components um, to really understand the different forms and shapes that go into the character that you've chosen.
I'm working really sloppy and loosely, uh, deliberately. I don't want to be dwelling too much on the finer details of these characters at this point. It's just brainstorming and getting down little quick sketches, real sloppy and gestural. Some of the times I don't even pick up the pencil when I'm drawing different shapes. So it can look like a ball of spaghetti, um, but this one's kind of neat with the big arms. Be an interesting study of motion. This one is not bad. This guy. It's important that you're never really satisfied with any one sketch. You can always push things a little bit further, always try new ideas, exaggerate things, change them around a little bit. Just try tweaking things constantly because you never really know what, uh, what the end result will be. You might end up with something that initially you never really considered, but it ends up working better than you could imagine. And that's uh, kind of a neat thing when that sort of stuff happens for you. I'm still kind of liking this guy. He's nice and nice and cartoony looking. He's got the right sort of attitude. So let's see what we can do with him. Maybe we'll give him a big nose like that. When you're doing a character, sometimes it's a good idea to have just one real defining feature so that people, when they're watching it, they recognize that feature instantly and uh, and sort of glom onto that instead of trying to make everything this real big, unique, uh, standout feature that can get a little bit uh, interfering, I guess, because there's no real focal point for that character. You don't know what to look at. If he's got so I've got this guy with like huge ridiculous ears and then maybe he's got a giant honking nose or something like that. It gets a little strange looking and that can work depending on the side or the style that you're going for. But in a lot of cases you want to give the viewer just one real straight ahead bam in your face kind of focal point. So I'm thinking with this guy, I kind of like the nose. I don't know about how big I want to go with that. A little tough to hear. Play around with this head shape a little bit. Right, it's starting to look a little bit too much like Bert from Sesame Street. I'm going to move sheet of paper here. I'll keep going. So that guy He's a big confident guy, his chest puffed out and everything. Let's see what we can do here. I think that's probably the guy that I'm going to end up going with. Just have little straight spindly legs. I think that's about the, the right proportions for him. Now the question is what sort of arms do I give them? Big muscular arms? Or little scrawny arms? Give them a nice round chin so it's clearly defined from the rest of his body instead of just kind of blending into like a banana shape. Sort of weird. Mm. So his eyes are kind of glued right onto his head. Just give him a little button nose. Give him big eyes. That'll be his defining feature. Big sort of buggy looking eyes. I 
I don't really know what I'm doing with the hands or anything. I'm just sort of glossing over that small details. We'll refine that later, like I mentioned, when we get into uh, breaking things down and then putting together a set of proper poses for the character. I'm also not bothering to do anything um, with clothing or, or accessories or anything like that on this guy. Um, what you have to do is keep in mind the amount of times you're going to be drawing this character. So real simple shapes and streamlined uh, forms. Maybe I'll give him a hands just so he doesn't seem too unseen. But I think that's pretty much it. Don't want his feet to be too big. Slightly cartoony, but nothing too ridiculous. That could be, uh, like, maybe we'll give him a t-shirt too. You have a little, little cherry big smile. And you know what, I think that's pretty much it there. So there's the rough concept of the character and a few of the simple steps to go through. Just blowing through a whole bunch of different ideas and seeing what sticks for you. And that's the one I think I'll be working with. So we'll see you in the next lesson where I break this guy down into basic shapes.